Hey everyone, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we are here on the floor at CES 2014. So this is our first official day on the floor. You saw some of our MSI footage. Now we're here with N NVIDIA to look at G-Sync and I am joined by Vijay Sharma uh, working on G-Sync. Vijay, what can you tell us about how uh, how G-Sync works from a top level and maybe give us some technical details. Great, yeah, G-Sync is a new technology that delivers the smoothest tear-free gaming possible. We're really excited about it. And we've got partner monitors on display here today at CES, uh, which will be available in Q2. So how G-Sync works, let's start with how traditional monitors work. And in a traditional monitor, if we think about a 60 hertz refresh monitor, it is expecting 60 frames per second from the source or the GPU consistently. And uh, the GPUs, however, in most modern games, don't output at a constant frame rate. Frame rates vary. So if you think of a really simple scene, a GPU can render that very quickly. But if you have a complex scene, uh, the GPU might take longer. And so frame rates vary a lot. And when frame rates vary, and the monitor's expecting a consistent frame rate, a few things happen. With VSync on, you get stutter because the, the monitor redisplays the previous frame. And anytime that happens, you get the stutter. So uh, you can turn VSync off. And if you turn VSync off, you get something else. You get tearing. And you've probably, uh, as you've played games, experienced tearing on the scene where you have these, these horizontal lines ripping through the scene. What G-Sync does is as, as soon as the GPU is done rendering a frame, it sends it to the display. And what that does is it eliminates tearing, eliminates uh, display-related stutter, and really importantly for gamers, it minimizes the input lag versus VSync on. So you get very fast response time as you're, as you're playing a game. And uh, so that's basically uh, what G-Sync does is the monitor uh, slaves off of the GPU. The GPU drives monitor timing. And what's our normal monitor time for frame delivery? What, when is the monitor expecting a frame from the GPU? Right, so on a 60 hertz uh, refresh rate display, you're, the monitor is, is expecting a frame every 16 milliseconds or so. And on a 120 hertz monitor, it's about every eight milliseconds or so. Okay, and in terms of availability, we know we have some of these uh, announced here at CES. Where should our gamers be looking for G-Sync enabled devices? Sure. So uh, today on, on display we have six announced monitors from partners such as Asus, BenQ, ViewSonic, Philips, uh, and they uh, will be available in Q2. So really looking forward to that. And let's say I already have a monitor I'm happy with. Any chance of a modular kit? Anything you have for us? Yeah, we, we have uh, talked about uh, a do-it-yourself do kit. And the kit is for one specific model of uh, ASUS monitor. It's a VG248QE. And what the kit is designed to do is uh, modify that monitor to be a G-Sync monitor. And now this is a kit for really core enthusiast gamers. Uh, we built it so that we could get G-Sync into their hands uh, as soon as possible. Uh, because uh, like many gamers, we don't want to wait. Uh, and so you can do that, uh, do that now. You should be familiar with modding, so it, it takes a bit of skill. Um, and it, and you, you should be a real enthusiast if you want to go do this. Uh, it should be available on our website uh, by the end of this week. Very cool. So I think that covers actually a lot of you guys. Check out the links in the description below for full article coverage. And we'll have some slides in there as well that show more of how G-Sync actually works in terms of uh, the frame delivery so you can get a visual representation of that. And uh, yeah, thanks again. We will see you all next time. Peace.